On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Haiyan caused widespread destruction in the Philippines. The eye of this super typhoon passed right over Malapascua Island. There were no casualties, but the material destruction was huge, leaving many people without a house or a job. Six months later, Malapascua has recovered well. The island received a tremendous amount of support, mainly from the dive industry. Only months after the typhoon, most houses have been repaired or rebuilt from the ground up. Malapascua is famous among divers because of nearby Mona Shoal, a submerged seamount which attracts pelagic treasure sharks on a daily basis. The sharks come here to get cleaned at the numerous cleaning stations. Luckily, these were spared by the typhoon. This shark-related tourism has been Malapascua's biggest help in the road to recovery. Treasure Shark, grabe ka importante para na mo kay mo na ikuha na mo pagkaon, pamugas, ibuhi sa pamilya, ikaduha sa tsa para sa umaabot sa namong pamilya. Even though Treasure Sharks can be worth way more alive than dead, they are still being targeted by fisheries in the Philippines and often fall victim to unsustainable fishing methods. Although Mona Chol is a protected area, illegal fishing still happens all the time. The dive shops on the island have hired two locals to patrol the area on most nights. The most important area here is to protect our, you know, our treasures, the treasure shark. We need to protect them as, as soon as we can because it's one of our um, special here in Malapascua who gave name and the tourist who visit this this fish is who's the one who uh, the people after the typhoon of Yolanda. Elvin and Oscar have sent many illegal fishing vessels away but say some don't listen and still use dynamite, long lines and gill nets at this marine reserve. Shark tourism has proven to be more profitable and sustainable than shark fisheries. Malapascua is a perfect example of this. These sharks are too important to both local economies and our oceans to be left unprotected. <laughs>